Hello friends Today's chapter is on animals I personally like to read and speak on this topic because I love animals We hardly realize there are so many wonderful creatures around us There are birds in the sky the river is throbbing with life and there is an exhaustive variety of cute looking four legged creatures moving on the land i'm so excited to tell you about them to know more about animals we should not only read about them but also love them and take care of them so let's start and discover how they can be categorized a place where an animal lives is called its habitat Let us now learn how animals are grouped and categorized on the basis of their habitat. Animals can live on the land, water, and sky. Animals that can fly are the birds and the insects. Based on their behavior, the land animals can be categorized as pet and wild animals. Water animals are of two types freshwater animals and salty water animals land animals are animals that live on land the land or earth has plains caves forests deserts and snow covered areas different land animals live on different parts of land animals living on land are also called terrestrial animals Let us discover based on their habitat how each one of them differ. Animals living in plains. Many animals like horse, cow, buffalo, cat, dog, donkey and so many others live in plains. All these land animals walk and run on four legs Animals living in deserts Animals like camel snake lizard and so many others are found in deserts Deserts are usually very hot and have very little water. Animals living there can tolerate high temperatures. Camels can live without water for many days. They can store water and food in their bodies. They have padded feet that help them to walk on sand. Lizards and snakes crawl on the ground. They live in burrows. This helps them to escape the heat of the desert. See how the padded feet of an animal looks like. Lizards and snakes crawl on the ground. As I told you, desert animals live in burrows. This is how a burrow looks like. by hiding themselves inside the burrows they are able to escape the heat of the desert how intelligent isn't it next animals living in forests forests provide shelter and food to many animals animals like tiger elephant lion giraffe deer kangaroo zebra and many more live in forests the color of the skin and body patterns of some of these animals help them to merge with their surroundings and protect them from danger next animals living in cold regions There are some parts of the earth which are very cold and always covered with snow.
animals like polar bear, snow leopard, penguin, arctic hare, and many more live in such snow-covered areas. These animals have thick fur to protect their bodies from cold. I wonder if I'll get to see any of these animals in Rio, especially penguin. Oh my, my, just awesome. Next are the water animals, animals who live in water. A good part of earth is covered with water. Many animals live in ponds, lakes, rivers and ocean. Can you tell me what are animals living in water called? They are called aquatic animals. These animals have fins for swimming and gills for breathing. Some animals live in the salty water of ocean like whale, shark, turtle, starfish and jellyfish. Can you tell me the names of fish found in freshwater lakes and rivers? Okay, I will tell you some of them. Katla, Labio, Trout, Piranha. Animals like frogs and toads live on land. However, they need water for laying their eggs. Frogs have webbed feet for swimming. They can also breathe in water. Frogs are amphibians. Don't worry, I'll tell you about amphibians. Before that, can you tell me the difference between a frog and a toad? Frogs and toads are both amphibians. Frogs also usually have moist, slimy skin, while toads have dry, bumpy skin. That is usually the best way to tell them apart. Frog eggs are found in a mass, while toad eggs are more in a chain. The next water animal is turtle. Turtles live in water for most of the time. They have flippers for swimming. They come to land when they have to lay eggs. Turtle is a reptile. Reptile? I will tell you about reptiles too. Crocodile can live both on land and water. It can crawl on the ground and can also swim in water. Crocodile is a reptile. Now I introduce to you the animals who can fly in the sky. They are the birds, also known as aves, and they are characterized by feathers, toothless beak jaws, laying of hard-shelled eggs, a high metabolic rate, a four-chambered heart, and a strong yet lightweight skeleton. Birds live worldwide and range in size from the 5 cm bee hummingbird to the 9 feet ostrich. There are some flightless birds like penguins. Also, some bird species of aquatic environments have further evolved for swimming. Birds produce offspring by laying eggs. The second category of very small animals who can fly are the insects. Insects have a three-part body, head, thorax and abdomen. They have six legs, compound eyes and a pair of antenna. Insects are the most diverse group of animals. They include more than a million described species and represent more than half of all known living organisms. Animals show different types of behavior. 
Some of them are shy, while others are playful. Animals like dogs and cats are the favorite pets of many of us. These animals like to interact and play with human beings. They love their masters. Dolphins live in oceans. They are very intelligent animals. They can easily learn to perform tricks and play games. On the other hand, animals like deer, orangutan, tigers and snakes are shy animals. They are not very friendly with humans. They do not like to interact with humans. We humans also try to avoid most of such animals. What is the difference between domestic and pet animals? Hmm, good question. Domestic animals serve humans in many ways, like providing milk, meat, eggs, wool, transportation, and sports entertainments. Pet animals provide company, emotional support, and fun. Usually no financial gains are expected from a pet. Reptiles. I know you have been waiting for this. Reptiles are the group of air-breathing vertebrates. They have internal fertilization, amniotic development, and scales covering their body. The major groups of living reptiles are the turtles, tuatara, lizards, snakes, and crocodiles account for over 8,700 species. You should also know which animals are amphibians. Amphibians are cold-blooded, which means that they are the same temperature as the air or water around them. There are more than 4,000 different kinds of amphibians. Some of these animals are frogs, toads, salamanders, newts, sicilians, or blindworms. Amphibians are animals that can live both on land and water. Here are some points to remember. A place where an animal lives is called its habitat. Animals living on land are called terrestrial animals. Paddle-like organs for swimming are called flippers. Small hollow areas under the earth burrows. Snake and deer are shy animals. Dogs and cats are friendly with human beings. Snakes and lizards crawl on the ground. The animals that can live both on land and water are called amphibian. Animals living in deserts can tolerate high temperature. Name to reptile, turtles, lizards. Cross the out, odd one out and give reason. First one, camel, snake, buffalo, lizard. Buffalo is the odd one out. Buffalo cannot live in desert. Second one. Shark, turtle, whale, labeo. Answer, labeo because it lives in fresh water. Others are salty water animals. Frog, tiger, elephant, rat. Answer, frog. Frog can live in both land and water. Others live on land only. We are making more educational videos and stories. For updates, we request you to subscribe to our channel. If you have enjoyed our creation, please do not forget to hit the like button. Bye for now. Thank, Thank you. you.